In this movie, we examine relative measurement systems. Now generally, relative measurement systems are considered to be somewhat better than absolute systems because these systems allow more flexibility. As previously mentioned, these system standard of measurement can shift depending on values associated with other properties. And the actual determinant is the base text size in most cases. For most browsers, this is about 16 pixels high. Now, by using these relative systems, the end user will have a better experience because they will be able to adjust things like the size of the text on their screen to meet their specific needs, and the design and other elements will shift to accommodate those changes. Just like with the absolute measurement systems, we have a few different methods of declaring our measurements. So we have the M, the X, and the percentage. Now for those of you who may not be familiar with your print measurement systems, you do have the M and the X, and these are going to be based on your font. Now the M is derived from the width of our M character of the font being used. So what that means is that we are using the width of our character to determine how big other elements are. And essentially, we can say the same thing about our X. Now while the M is based off the size of the letter M, the X is based off of the height of the lowercase x. So again, we're basing our measurement off of the size of an object in our font. And lastly, we have the percentage. Now the percentage is talking about a couple of different things here depending on context. If you are using it to size fonts, it's going to be based off of the base text size for that browser. If you are changing the width of an object, it's going to be based off of the parent object's size. Now, as mentioned before, there are some advantages with our relative measurement systems, and that includes scaling well to meet the needs of our end user. There are, however, disadvantages to using relative measurement systems, one of which is that some designs do not stand up in relative systems. Now what that means is whenever we use our relative systems we may have to tweak the designs a lot to get them so that they are going to scale up and scale down well because sometimes it's not going to make a lot of sense to have a center column full of text stretched across a gigantic 16,000 by 17,000 uh, display monitor. Now, of course I'm just throwing out numbers I, I'm not sure if Anybody actually has a uh, monitor that size, but if you do, uh, well, that's, that's pretty nice. But anyway, our relative measurement system is going to be tied to some other specification. So in the event we're talking about changing the size of font, then we're talking about the base font. If we're talking about changing the width of objects, it's tied to the parent object. And that parent, parent, parent object all the way up the tree ends up being tied to the browser width. Okay, so with all of that in mind, let's go ahead and jump over into our sandbox and take a look at how we can set this up.